Hello, everyone! I am Tacit, and today I'm going to be going over the starter bundle on Steam for Gems of War. It is a key bundle that you can buy on the Steam page right here for $20. If you are on a mobile version, you can do it off of Steam as well, just from linking your account if it is not available there. But what you can do here is get essentially uh, a starting basis on... Uh, keys in this game. It gives a wide variety of keys, which I will be explaining all of them uh, right now. <laughs> so, what do we have here? We have 30 gold keys, 25 glory keys, 20 gem keys, and 10 event keys. So, let's just claim them and let's go show what each one of them do. So, we'll just speed through that. And chest. Uh, there are many chests in this game. Uh, gold, glory, gem, and event chests are the main ones that you normally use. Here are the gold chests. Gold chests give only common and rare drops, but they do drop resources as well as minor trait stones. They're the main way of obtaining minor trait stones as well as uh, common rarity troops in the game. You also get a variety of various resources whenever you open these, including uh, gems, glory, souls, and gold. And they're basically the standard chests that you can get essentially all resources from. Uh, it's basically the building block of how you start building up resources when you first start out in the game. Glory chests, normally you get glory chests from everything other than spending glory on glory chests. There are actually a lot of ways to get glory chests in this game. So let's open up 50 here. 50, uh, or glory chests can essentially do literally everything. They drop everything other than commons. As you can see, they give resources, they give uh, epics. Wow, we got better drops on this than... <laughs> in the previous one wow and as you can see it still gives all resources just like the gold chest but even higher uh, it gives a bunch of major and uh, trade stones and above as well as a nice variety of troops and these chests can uh have the chance of dropping any troop in the entire game it has a minimum of dropping rares as you can see all these are rares here in the green and uh but it can essentially drop anything up to a, a legendary all the way up to a mythic even so let's go now on to the gem chests. Gem chests are ultra rare and above. They do not give resources, but they do have a even higher chance of getting rare troops in this game. So let's open up our last 50 that we have right here and see what we get from these. And as you can see, we do get two legendary drops, uh, a bunch of epics here, actually quite a few. Uh, a mid to Ameras, Anointed One, Bolteris, there's like a seven right there. And of course, the minimum drop for these are uh, all of these blue ones that are ultra rares. So it always only does ultra rares and higher. And now for event keys. Event keys uh, drop based on the event. For example, this week is the new Blackhawk Kingdom event. And since Blackhawk uh, only has one legend right now, Kraken actually has the, that thing right there, has a 100% chance of dropping if you get a legendary drop. Uh, event chests actually have the same drop rate as uh, gem chests, despite having a higher cost. Uh, the reason for their higher cost is they are focused on a specific kingdom, and of course that kingdom is whatever kingdom the event is this week. It can drop some other troops as well. You'll see on the ultra rares and the epics, it will drop some other ones. But as we take these 10 drops, uh, it'll be mainly from the new Blackhawk Kingdom. And as you can see right there, yes, <laughs> everything here is from the Blackhawk Kingdom except the Night Coronet, the Four Mimics, and the Sharky. We were not fortunate enough to get anything higher than a ultra rare though. Uh, but these are all newer troops. It's really easy to get any kind of newer content. Bonnie Rose was just added today. Whenever you do event chests, it becomes excessively easy to get any of the newer content since it is uh, prior. These chests specifically prioritize those newer content. So, anyways, if you have any other questions about this pack or about the game in general, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.